It was really great seeing all of the things that you were able to do in the past year. I mean, Jada and Shay, I just, I was so impressed when you guys walked for Rihanna in the Savage Fenty show. And Shay, oh my like, God. So good. It was so good. And, and Shay, you of course went viral for your interpretation of the Vogue challenge last year. And it's funny because I think fashion is an interesting area because we see fashion accepting drag in some ways, but it's like slow to evolve in others because mm-hmm. outside of like Rue on Vanity Fair and Envy on Cosmo, in the last year, we haven't seen a drag queen on the cover of a major magazine like like Vogue. Um, so Envy, I want to ask you first, why why do you think fashion is willing to sort of accept drag in some ways, but slower to accept in others? And then Jada and Shay, I want you guys to answer as well. Okay, perfect. Well, they don't have a choice now. You know, we live in a new world. <laughs> no, a drag is everywhere. People see how popular drag is and we have some beautiful and amazing talent, a beautiful girl. So I think it's time to, uh, to have more diversity into fashion, into beauty, because there's more than the skinny model. There's way more than that. And I'm very happy to see that slowly everything is changing and they're putting drag queens on covers for magazines, for example. How Can you imagine that like 10 years ago would have happened? And I think it's going to evolve to something more. You can see Bimini now um, going uh, to all yeah. the modeling gigs, you know, and Miss Fame. I think it's it's time. It's time I, to uh, and and I mean look at Shay is literally like a Valentino model like uh, that's correct and you know what I mean like that's crazy but I think like fashion which I think now is kind of a little weird because people think that drag is only fashion now but I think that they think that now yeah. because fashion is so accepting of drag because fast drag and fashion have always worked hand in hand and you should be accepting of someone that you pull inspiration from. I honestly, I mean, drag queens turn looks and like set trends and then designers see that and okay. they then are inspired to create beautiful collections. I mean, as much as we are inspired by them, they are inspired by us. And so I feel like yeah. it, it only makes sense that we like work together. Exactly. Absolutely. I agree. It's it's nice to see. I feel like um, the fashion industry in so many ways is breaking down a lot of barriers right mm-hmm. now because, look, at the end of the day, we all wear clothes and we all want to see ourselves represented in the clothes that are being sold to us. Mm-hmm. So it's like we're finally like just like shedding the uh, concept of like this ideal, this like hard to reach ideal and just being like, oh, my goodness, people will actually respond to us when they see themselves reflected Mm -hmm. in this industry. So it's nice to see um, these changes happen. Well, one one area where I think we have seen consistent strides made is in music. I mean, the United King Dolls, I mean, going to number 27 in the UK, that is just wild. You guys were on the radio. I mean, Lawrence, what did that song's success mean to you in the moment? Because the season wasn't even over and you were already in the top 40 in the UK. (laughs) Already a chart top and hit honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, I mean, it, it meant so much to all of us, but it meant so much to me because I literally, when we were doing that challenge, I was like, I don't sing, I don't dance. But then I was like, oh no, that's where I was at in the root, you know, with the rusical. And that kind of steered me off down a dark path of like, well, you just worried too much about being bad that you were bad. You, mm-hmm. you know, if you believed in that, you would be able to kind of go, let's fake it, you know, for the camera. <laughs> and that's basically what it was. So we we stopped kind of worrying about you know and um, impressing the judges. We were just like we're friends making a stupid song with the lyrics "Bing Bang Boom." <laughs> like, I mean Shakespeare, who you know, like, <laughs> just, uh, the, the wildest thing. And it means so much to me. I mean, now you know Madonna's on the phone. You know, it's <laughs> of course. <Yeah. laughs> but, well, uh, it, it's really really epic. Well, are you um, and the United King Dolls planning to do more music for an album? Like, because the Frock Destroyers put out an album. So are you guys planning to do more? Tune in to find out. I was gonna well, say. you know, uh, you'll need to wait and see. I want us to do Eurovision. I re- Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 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 I, yeah, I really want vodka. us to do Eurovision or something like that. I think that would be really camp. But yeah, definitely. We want to write more music. I want to talk, sing some more. We can do that. You know, <laughs> Why <yeah>. not? Who cares? <laughs> I am the shoes and boil of RuPaul's Drag Race UK. Because I dreamed a dream. 
I don't know the other lyrics. Well, does anybody else have any music projects coming out? Because I know that that's like, that's a thing that, that everybody, oh, Priyanka's face. I is love out. <laughs> music. It's so much fun. And I have to say something is that people don't take drag music seriously, but we're heading into a whole new era where we're about to be on the chart and we're about to, you know, do features with mainstream artists. I know that there's something brewing. I'm so I'm I'm releasing an album in May. I guess is this May? What what month is it right now in this interview? It, it's April. it's it's May. It's May. It's oh, May. Oh yeah. my god, their album's out. Congratulations. Didn't hear it yet, but it's great. I heard. And I think an app, like a lot of like Shay has has music already, like great music, and, and there's like Adore has music and 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 and, and Aja has music and all these people have music now and it's all great but i think now it's time to get that music on the radio and in commercials and on tv shows and in movies because we're creators too and like envy said like drag is happening and they have no choice mm -hmm. so do exactly. it i've really been writing a lot and have had the opportunity which i'm really excited about to uh sit down with an a and r exec from a major record label Wow. And we have been like working like really closely together in hopes to not just getting me signed to this label, but also I have my own record label, House Down Records, in which we would like kind of like merge and they would actually help me grow my own record label. Uh, yeah. So girls need That's some representation fierce. in the near future. Okay, and, if you, if, <laughs> and if you ever need girl, I play a mean triangle, so keep me. <laughs> <laughs> playing the bing bang bong honey love it <laughs> bang bong